This is the Bit Phoenix, uh, Bit Phoenix Shinobi. Now I recently put in a magnetic LED strip. And you might be able to see up there. Anyway, it lights it up pretty brightly. Um, now my goal is to basically paint these mesh stripes, uh, this mesh vent, and either this symbol or put my own little piece of acrylic there. The acrylic that I purchased came in a sheet about this big. Drill a hole bigger, but you can't drill a hole smaller, so I'm going with this size bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. There we go. Um, and I've marked out the second hole right there, so I'm basically just going to uh, drill through and see what happens. Alright. So, oh, got my drill here. And I don't really have, I guess I could clamp it, but I think I'm fine. I think, I think we're small enough. I hope for the best. Should we go the right way again? Shit, I hope it didn't, hope I didn't break it. No, I didn't. Perfect. All right. So. We'll get in the light here. Hopefully you can see where I've made the holes. So we're gonna go test it in the actual PC. So let's give it a test. We might have to shave this guy down a bit. Let's see. Come on. You know, you know you want to do it. There we go. Damn. All right. That is looking pretty good. I'll show you in a second. There we go. You can barely see it. Um, I wouldn't want to have it empty because then up close you can sort of see the gap, but uh, this is looking pretty good. You can't see any imperfections, um, but you can definitely tell that there's a panel there. Now, in the future there's a chance that I might paint that over with um, some purple spray paint, so I can get my purple uh, shine to it. I'd rather see what it looks like purple. Actually, I don't know, that's tricky. That is really tricky. I think what I'll do, so I'll keep this up as an option, and I'm going to spray paint the default one that's here. So we got our symbol, we got some sandpaper, we got our spray paint. So I'm actually using um, flat black primer. From Home Depot, Rustolium, and uh, they own. This is the only purple shade that they had. Um, but honestly, we we haven't painted anything else purple yet, um, so it's not like I have to match it with anything. If anything, I'll have to match it with lit with this later on. Um, but I don't really think I'm going to be using a lot of this. Ooh, that's a bright purple. Hopefully with the black primer under it will will look better. I'm gonna start to um, this is actually the adhesive kind. I'm going to uh, just get this guy down. We have sanded it down a little bit. Um, basically just gotten the surface roughed up. And I'm just going to go over it with the, uh, with the primer. Let's do the test again. 
All right, here we go. Now that I think about it, it's actually just the top that needs painting, because this is actually inserted into sort of the cutout of the case. So as long as the top looks good, then we're money. So wet, it's looking a little a little bright. We'll see what it looks like on the black. Um, but it's definitely glossy, which looks good. I think it looks nice. So keep in mind again, it's just the, the cutout part that will be seen. So any imperfections like that at the top will be fine. So the thing about this is I'm gonna wait for it to dry until it's like bone dry. Like I, I, I don't wanna get paint on the case and I don't want it to get scuffed. The logo on, um, on the front of the case is dried and I put that in. I'll show you it in a second. Um, but as it's still sort of drying, what I've done is I've um, sort of unbent the tabs on the, on the mesh strips. So you take off the front of the PC and you bend these so they're, so they're, uh, so they're up. And then it sort of pops out. Um, they are very bendy, but don't worry, they always sort of bend back into place. So don't worry if it gets bent a little bit. Anyway, so I took some sandpaper and I sanded, uh, sanded one of them down. Uh, made sure it was all clear of dust, did a coat of my uh, flat black primer, uh, and then I went ahead with the purple onto it, as you can see. So it's looking pretty good so far. This is just one coat, and it's already basically covered. Uh, I'm still going to do an extra coat, because you can just sort of see there, it's still a little bit of black showing through, but they're really easy to paint. You only really have to go over once or twice, and they dry pretty fast. So I'm going to do another coat of that, then I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And then there's, um, there's two more mesh stripes on the top, which I'm still trying to get off, because they're a little harder to remove. And then there's a large sort of metal grate on top of the case as well. Look at that. This looks like it has an outline. But it's definitely looking good. Purple goes well with the black, and we got the whole purple lighting going on as well. Honestly, this is more of like a grape color. Like you see, you'd see grape candy. On camera, it looks pink. But essentially, we're going to have that there, and then these are what we just painted are going to snap on. Broke a sweat trying to get these off, but I did. So here's the top metal grate, and then we have the two side ones. Um, I bent in one of the tabs so I knew which way was front, just in case it matters because I don't know if these are evenly spaced. So just keeping track which is the front, I don't think right or left would matter. Um, make sure they're straight. And be careful with this one not to bend it or ding it because unlike these ones which are just long strips, if this has a bend in it, it might be quite noticeable after because it's a perfectly flat surface. So just be really careful with this one. Uh, I'm gonna go prep these and paint them. This time I'm doing this as well, so hopefully it goes right. Now I'm just gonna be really careful with it. They're not as tacky, like they're almost, almost dry. These guys need a bit more, and that guy obviously will need quite a while. So don't touch them, just let them be, and then we'll come back when we're ready to assemble everything. Looking pretty good. So we're gonna snap it on this bad boy. looking like the finished product it's actually kind of hard to see the purple it, it could have been brighter um, whether that's because I only did three coats I don't know or maybe it's just the can like I said that was the only purple can that I found at the hardware store um, but it does look pretty good uh, especially with the purple emblem 
um, and my purple LEDs going on in the back. Um, but I'd say it looks pretty nice. Um, it, it's definitely hard to harder to see on camera the purple, but I was sort of expecting this purple to be a lot more visible. Um, but I think because it's kind of dark in here, you can't really see it. It even looks better from far away with uh, with some lights on, so you can you can actually see the purple. Let's try from back here. So you can sort of see the purple square on the top. And definitely the purple lines. Looking pretty good. So if you guys have any questions about the process, uh, just post them in the comments. Um, but I'd say we did a pretty good job. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.